Summer is in full swing, and I thought that I wanted to do a DIY for you guys that was a little bit fruity and refreshing. So I am going to be making some fruity shorts with my friends. I chose to make pineapple shorts, but we also have kiwi and watermelon, the perfect fruits to refresh you on a hot summer day. So I'm going to show you guys how I made these pineapple shorts. There's a little bit of sewing and a little bit of painting, but I believe that you guys can do this, so let's get started. You're going to need a pair of white shorts. These are made of cotton and they have a zipper in the back. This is very important. You're also going to need Rit dye. I'm using a lemon yellow and a sunshine orange for a deeper yellow color. To paint the stripes of the pineapple, you're also going to need a brown fabric paint. So I found these studs that I think would fit perfect on these pineapple shorts. They are triangle and I'll have a link in the description where I bought them. So the first thing you're going to do is fill your sink with some warm water. Then we're going to add a little bit of the yellow dye. We're going to agitate it and I'm using a piece of old cloth t-shirt to test the color to make sure that it's as bright as I want it to be. So once you have the color that you'd like your shorts to be, I'm going to dip my whole shorts in the water, agitate it with a stick or a straw or something and let it sit for a bit in the water. Then I'm going to pull the shorts out and add a little bit of the orangey color. We're going to agitate this as well. I'm going to do a test strip as always, see if it's the color that I really want. And once we got that test strip done, I'm just going to dip the ends of my shorts in this and kind of do it quickly because we really want the gradient. So since your shorts are already wet, it's just going to soak up into it and create a yellow to orange gradient. So you can leave the bottom of your shorts in the water longer so they could absorb or more of the color. Then you're going to hang them out to dry completely. Once they're dry, grab your paint and a paintbrush along with some water. And I'm just going to put the paint on a paper plate. Then you're going to paint on some diagonal lines. You can sketch this out with a pencil first if you don't trust yourself, or you can just go for it. But you're going to do this both ways to kind of create this checkered pattern. So once that is dry, now we can go ahead and add on the studs. I went ahead and place them down so I can see if I really like the placement and the way it looks. So to apply the stud, just puncture the fabric and you're going to turn it inside out. Then you should have the teeth from the stud sticking out and you can use your fingers to push these down if you want, but you may hurt yourself. So I'm using a butter knife to just put these down nice and flat. So continue doing that for your whole bottom of your shorts. Once that's done, I'm gonna start to create the peplum. So you need some green fabric. I have it folded right here. And I'm just going to fold it again. And then we are going to fold it into a triangle shape, just like this. Then grab your fabric scissors. We're gonna cut a triangle shape, but kind of round it off. This is going to be the peplum. So cut off the top. This is what's gonna sit around your waist. And once it's completely cut off, you can then go ahead and open it up. I've kind of messed up. Uh, I didn't fold it correctly, so I'm just gonna cut this portion right here. I, I seriously had trouble with this, so don't get discouraged if you don't do it perfectly. There's always ways to fix it. So put it around your waist, see if it fits. If it doesn't fit, you can cut a little bit more off. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut about two inches of a long piece of fabric. I'm actually gonna sew these together because I messed up the fabric. So this is kind of optional. I'm just sewing this together so I'll have a long string of fabric. This is going to go around our waist. So now I'm gonna pin this to the peplum and we are going to sew it on. So this is gonna act as a little belt. It's just to make it look a little bit nicer. So now that your peplum is sewn on, we're going to hem the bottom of the peplum and I'm just folding it over and pinning it down because it's easier to sew that way. So once you have that hemmed, it looks nice and pretty and it won't unravel. So do the same thing for the top of the belt portion. Just fold it over and pinned it down. We are hemming this so it doesn't unravel once you have that done. So now I'm going to pin down the peplum to the top of my shorts, make sure everything fits right. And in the back where the zipper is, I am going to cut the peplum right where the zipper is and I'm going to hem these edges so it doesn't look ugly and unravel. And once those are hemmed, you're now going to sew on the peplum onto the shorts. So I am sewing it on right here. If 
your shorts are too thick, you can also use fabric glue to glue the peplum on, but you can see it's nice and secure here. And uh, then I'm just gonna add some studs on the top portion to pull the whole thing together. So now you have yourself a pair of adorably cute pineapple shorts that are perfect for the summertime. Be sure to head over to Lula and Mr. Mitty's channel to see how they created their summer fruity shorts. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you're having a great summer. Bye.